for a really long time, I have been fascinated with the 10 item wardrobe that Jennifer Scott from The Daily Connoisseur promotes or Hillary from Old World Home. They have these capsule wardrobes. I'm, I've also been just fascinated with Project 333. Just anything where you have a limited item wardrobe, but you make a multitude of outfits from that has just really, oh, it's just got my brain on fire. And I have finally committed to using that this summer because we will be traveling some and I want to minimize my stress. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay. I like to share a lot of health-related content, but sometimes I throw in some lifestyle things like some cleaning videos, some just randomness, if you will. So I invite you to poke around my channel and consider subscribing if it's something that interests you. I also am over on Instagram. I will put my handle across the top of the screen right here, and I would love for you to come follow me over there as well. I have been very fascinated with these minimalistic wardrobes, but I've never felt like I could really hone down my style well enough to do that. As a stay-at-home mom of littles, I need to be able to have wash and wear clothing. I definitely still need to be able to have some nicer clothing to wear to church because sometimes I serve on our worship team and there's just, I, I kind of need a little bit of versatility within my closet and I like to be comfortable. So I don't want to overload my capsule with a lot of things that I can't just be rough and tumble on the ground with my girls or be so just so casual that I feel like I'm out of place whenever I go grocery shopping. I started to pay attention to the clothing items that I kept gravitating towards. What stuff was always in my wash? What things did I always wear first once the laundry came out of the dryer? And that's sort of how I formulated my capsule. I really like using navy as a neutral in my wardrobe along with white. And I, my favorite color is green, but right now I don't have very many pieces that are the green that really draws my eye. And I've been really leaning more toward the more coral colors. So I decided to use coral as my accent color in my capsule for this go around. And I feel like I've put together a few pieces that can be super versatile. So here are all of the main clothing items I'll be using for this summer. Starting over here, I have a white tank top. I bought this at Walmart. It definitely needs to be ironed, but it's kind of flowy, really comfortable. I have this striped t-shirt from Maurice's. It's uh, definitely something that I have been obsessed with wearing as of late, so I know I'll get a lot of use out of that. This I bought at Sam's back in the winter time, but it's a super, super lightweight sweatshirt, which I think will work out nicely in the cool summer evenings. I've got this ombre colored t-shirt that says sunshine mixed with a little lightning. And this was also from Maurice's, super stretchy, super comfortable, love that. I have this navy and white striped sweatshirt that if you've watched my videos for any length of time, you know I wear this a lot. I bought this one at Sam's probably at least a year ago, if not more. I have a chambray shirt, full length sleeve. This was from Maurice's this year. I've got one pair of skinny jeans. These are Old Navy, the diva style. I have a pair of jeggings from Maurice's. This is a coral color. I bought these about the same time that I bought this sweatshirt. I have this blue and white striped skirt. This was from American Eagle. I bought this when I was in college. So that has been around the world. I have this blue and white polka dot skirt. This one I love because it has pockets. I bought this at Maurice's probably six years ago. I have a pair of American Eagle chino style shorts. I bought these at least eight years ago, but I still absolutely love them. I have a pair of chambray kind of loose flowy shorts from Walmart. This was last year's spring summer stuff. I have this super versatile tank dress. It's white. It is a little bit sheer, so I do have a full length slip underneath of it. 
and it's really versatile. I love this piece. I just bought this on Amazon. I'll try to link that one down below. But the thing I love the most is it has pockets. It's a perfect length on me. It's like I said, it's really versatile and I think it'll go really well with the rest of this capsule. I bought this, this is hard to see. It's a navy blue full length jumpsuit. It's got the tank style top and it's got pockets, which I can't live without pockets. I absolutely love pockets. So I bought that, which I think that one will pair nicely with the rest of my things. And finally, this sort of chiffon, fully lined navy blue dress. I know it looks a little bit black on the viewfinder here. Um, navy blue dress, it's got a little bit of a lace detail. I bought this dress about three years ago from Maurice's. And um, this one has been a for sure staple in my sort of dressier clothing options. As a part of my capsule wardrobe, I'm going to be having a few things that are not in my everyday wear. So I'm going to have two swimsuits. This is a one-piece swimsuit that I bought off of Amazon, and this is a two-piece swimsuit I bought off of Amazon. Then I've got my rash guard here. This has UV protection, so whenever we're on the water, that will be very handy. Um, obviously I'll need some pajamas and I will have a few t-shirts. These are kind of my current favorite three and then a pair of just kind of like athletic shorts that I sometimes will pair with my, uh, rash guard to wear whenever we are going somewhere as a cover up, or I'll pair them with these three t-shirts whenever I'm just like slumming it around the house. Here are the shoes I plan to use with my capsule. I've got my everyday flip-flops. These are Sperry Topsider flip-flops. I got a pair of these, gosh, it must have been four years ago or more. And I loved them so much that my mom and love gave me some backup pairs. And I am going to be taking a fresh pair with me because the current pair I'm using are starting to become very well worn. I've got a pair of wedge sandals here from Maurice's. I absolutely love these. They're really comfortable. They look really polished and they're definitely a favorite for me. Uh, I bought these about three years ago, I believe. And I'm going to bring one pair of tennis shoes. I couldn't decide whether I should bring these or a pair of newbie running shoes that I have that are really comfortable too. But my newbies are quite a bit older and the potential for splitting a sole on those is pretty high right now. So I figured I'll take these. I got these at Walmart last year. They were $9, so not exactly a high dollar running shoe or anything like that. But they're really comfortable and they're super breathable. Like it's all mesh. So I feel like that'll work out well for summertime. And then these weird guys, these I found on Amazon. They are water shoes. And they have a harder rubber sole, but it's like very flexible. Um, I figured that anytime we're running around, like if we go to a beach or if we're at a lake or something like that, these will be useful. And they're kind of skin colored, obviously. They will not stand out too much for me. And um, yeah, I just, I liked those. I didn't pay very much for those, less than $10. So that's what I've got for shoes. Those are all the pieces that I plan to use aside from like undergarments, like that's something I'm not gonna share on the internet. But those are my pieces that I'll be wearing all the time this summer, possibly into fall, depending on where our travels take us. And that is about all I have to share with you. I would love to know if you have gone through and done a capsule wardrobe as a way to help expand your creativity within your outfit choices or just to simplify your life. Let me know that down in the comments. Would you also let me know if you're interested in me sharing outfit combinations that I put together with my current capsule? I would love to be able to do that, but I think it would be more of a, let me just show you what I'm wearing throughout the week kind of a video, which I, I love those. I don't know if y'all would, but I really love those. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.